Let me tell you a very important thing, a hard truth. The majority of people never make it into success. They, they never become a success, at least by any standard definition that our culture or society has created. And a lot of, for us, that we believe is success. You know, there are people that don't make money and don't have accolades and awards and whatever, and they're not successful that way, but they live very successful lives because they're happy, because they've accepted their lot in life, because they have work they enjoy. You know, a lot of times it's art or a sport or something like that that they engage in, and then they have their family time, etc. They also have good relationships. And these are some of the principles of the longest living people on planet Earth, actually. Not only is this about giving you the reality that you are statistically not likely to be successful, but also giving you the, I would say permission, even though you don't need my permission, to be okay with that. And that's what I think we need more of. It's like we see this social media stuff and all the entrepreneurs and the famous people are out here telling you do this, do whatever, grind, hustle. I'm all for it, absolutely, if that's your calling. If that's not your calling, maybe just start a side business so you can quit your job and so you can work a little bit and really enjoy life. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that either. It's not for me. I have things I want to build. Part of my life satisfaction is building, is sharing, is educating. So I've learned that if I had all the money in the world tomorrow, I'd still be, I'd still be doing a YouTube video, right? <laughs> I'm going to still do my podcast. Those are the things you want to find. Be okay with not having to achieve success. And also, because that's more about what other people define success, what you really need to find, and that would probably be the topic of the video, the main point, you need to find what is success for you. Your life and how you determine success in that life should be 100% from you, from inside. You should have internal validation, internal goals, and not what society, me, YouTube, whatever tells you. Because the things that I want and the level of success and the goals that I have in my life to attain, they might sound good to you. Some of them you might even would want to add to your list, but they are mine. That's my list. Here's a good example. So I have no aspirations whatsoever of being an NBA star. A lot of people don't. And that's good because for a lot of people, they can never make it. There are certain genetic limitations. I have no interest in being a world-class athlete. I don't want to train for that. I don't think I could really even compete from, because from a genetic perspective. Okay? I have no interest in being a billionaire. If a path opens up and I can become a billionaire, well, I've kind of accepted it's not even about being a billionaire. It's because I'd be, I would be changing something. I would be improving something. I would stumble on something that's going to change society really in some way. And then I'd have no problem being a billionaire, but I wouldn't even be pursuing to be a billionaire. I do want to become a millionaire only because the money, millions, I mean, even if it's a little bit, right, can give me the security and it can also give me the time that I want to do the things I enjoy, like making videos, podcasts, and educating. The goal isn't the money itself. The goal is to live the life that the money allows. And I'm very in tune with that. I know that I don't need a boat, a car, or have millions and millions of dollars to live the life I want. Really, my life, what I want, is I want to have one farm, I want to have a bamboo farm, maybe a farm in Costa Rica, that would ideally, you know, even generate re revenue. So though, if anything, those are kind of businesses, all right? And I can live there at different times of the year. I want to have the ability to go stay in Airbnb at anywhere in the world for one, two, three months at a time and do all my work remotely. And really, that's about it. And, you know, have enough money so that if anything comes wrong health-wise or if there's an economic downturn or if, you know, if my investment income that I would have coming in goes away, I would be okay. What I just mentioned, if you just assume you take the farms away and I just have the remote lifestyle, I can live anywhere in the world, maybe a month at a time, and work from where I want, coffee shops, whatever, have that flexibility, you know, you don't need a lot of money to do that. You, in fact, you don't even need millions. I could work just freelance work on the side and I could live that lifestyle. But I want to build it into a way so that I don't have to worry about the monthly expenses for me, myself, and my family, so that I can then do the work that I think is higher order. Maybe like videos like this, they don't generate me money, but I enjoy doing them. I think it can make a difference. I can work with people. I can do coaching, et cetera. So, you know, it's all about building the life that I want to live. And, and, and really also, like we talk about in the Tribe 10K program, doing the work that I want to do. If I, ha if I don't have to worry about the money, well, I don't have to take the clients that I don't want to take on. I don't have to work on the projects, the book, the articles, the videos that I don't want to do. And so for me, learning that a long time ago, when I worked at a restaurant with a, with a, you know, an asshole boss, when I worked at the movie theater, another asshole boss, although that job was kind of fun, 
because you could see movies under break. <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of crappy jobs over the years. I did construction uh, in hot Florida down Actually, ironically, inside of a multi-million dollar house on the water was like a private beach and the house was built like shit because that's what they did. They made these fancy houses and they didn't even like build them well because, you know, the rich didn't know or care. And so we were fixing that up because it had water damage from the humidity or whatever. And so it's like, I've had a lot of experience with jobs to know that when I don't like what I'm doing, I can't do it. It's just the way it is. And I accepted that a long time ago. I also accepted that school wasn't for me and getting a degree to get a job wasn't gonna be my path. And so I embraced alternative forms and now I am where I am today. 12 years, uh, never worked for anyone since then. And, you know, self-made if you will. And I have a lot of things, you know, a lot of irons in the fire. A lot of things I'm still building. But in a way I am living my dream. There are some places I need to get to so that I can do traveling. And so I can go, if I want to tomorrow to go work in Peru for a month, I can go do that. Uh, I could maybe do that myself, but we have a newborn so it's kind of hard logistically. And so I'm just not where I want to be. I don't have the security and I don't have the financial security that is, you know, I don't, I don't have the passive income I want, et cetera, but I'm working towards it. But when I get there, I'm under no illusion I'm gonna go sit on a beach somewhere or that I need to have to buy an expensive car or clothes or watches or bottle service or what the hell ever. No interest in any of that. So having a healthy relationship with money and quantifying that against your goals is a very, very important thing and most people don't do it. They don't think about what kind of money do I need how will that money come to me so that I can live the life I want? Most people just like say, I want a million dollars. Okay, well, well, okay, so do you want a million dollars and have to work 80 hours a week and not have any time with friends and family or even go to the gym or get enough sleep? Because that happens for a lot of people and they get that million dollars and then they're miserable and they're like, well, what the hell? This isn't what I wanted because they didn't even think about it, right? They're too focused on the million dollars. They're making the million the, the end and they're ignoring the means and you cannot do that. Like and subscribe for more videos like this, guys. And if you want to learn more about a Tribe TK accountability coaching program, which is going to take you from zero to really any as much as you want, but the goal is from zero to 10K a month by doing work you enjoy, whether that's coaching, consulting, uh, social media, you know, being being influencer, having courses, basically being a knowledge expert and selling that to other people, helping other people, go to tribe10k.com. You can get on a phone call with us. We can look if you're a match with the program. It's a six month program, but it also includes an accountability aspect where we really Make sure that you're doing the work and making progress. We help you when you run into hurdles and you get paired up with another student in the program who becomes your accountability partner as well as the, the monthly call with the Tribe 10K. We also have a private Facebook group and we will have the monthly Q&As going when we officially launch. Right now we're in the pre-launch, so go to tribe10k.com and find out more about that. Thanks for watching.